Minneapolis. A scathing report this evening about a state agency charged with investigating elder abuse in Minnesota. The Office of the Legislative Auditor revealed the Office of Health Facility Complaints failed to investigate thousands of abuse allegations. The report says it is because of a dysfunctional and a toxic workplace. Pat Kessler has been following this. Pat, this all sounds really bad. Yeah, this is very shocking stuff in this report today. It says that there were thousands of elder abuse complaints in fiscal year 2017, but only about 5% were investigated. The auditor discovered thousands of cases of elder abuse reported, but few actually investigated by the Office of Health Facilities complaints. The report describing the problems as deep and pervasive. For far too long, they had to work in a culture in an environment that was dysfunctional and sometimes even toxic. The investigation found the agency failed to swiftly investigate complaints of elder abuse, an average of 38 days to interview the vulnerable adult, 75 days to interview the perpetrator, and 140 days to finish the investigation. Lawmakers promising to fix the system. Yes, families need to expect us to address as much of it as we can. The auditor blames state officials who tolerated poor managers at the complaint office for years, resulting in high staff turnover and low morale that may take time to change. It took a long time, I think, for the problems to get as bad as they are, and it's going to take a long time to get it back to where it needs to be. Minnesota's health commissioner was fired when the allegations first came to light. The new commissioner promising to change the culture. We are fully committed to um, meeting our current law obligations, and I am uh, confident that we are well on the way to doing that. Well, state officials did say today that they have gone a long way to erase the backlog of elder abuse complaints, but there are still a lot of them still there. Elder abuse complaints, by the way, have risen 50% in just the last five years. And reform groups like the AARP are arguing this year at the Capitol for stiffer penalties, tougher criminal penalties for people who abuse our elders in facilities. Sure. Uh, Pat, any idea how many managers or staff at this Office of Health Complaints? That's a really good question. Yes, there are a dozen or so right now, but one of the questions lawmakers are asking is how many of them got fired? How many of these managers were let go after allowing this to go for so many years? All these complaints just festered here in this toxic environment and nobody did anything about it. So now legislators are trying to turn their attention not just to fixing it, but to find out who's to blame and what they did about it. Got it. All right. Pat, live at the Capitol. Thank you. You bet.